Yeah, let's get started with the first package at the top. Let's pull that towards me. Oh, it has a it has a little pull tab. Gonna pull that. I don't have a trash can next to me. Yeah, just looking on that side. Ooh, this one here. Oh, okay, so this is that hat clip. So this is for our GoPros because we have a channel called Tasty Bright. This basically allows you to wear a hat and then clip the GoPro like right here. Makes it a little slightly difficult to see, I think. But um, yeah, it lets you record like proper POV videos. So we're gonna be testing that out. There's gonna be test footage on the actual channel, which I'll link in the description below. And this is the microphone for it. This is the H2 Next handy recorder. It allows you to record binaural audio, which basically means you can actually hear what's going on on the left and the right side. It's not like really merged together or whatever. Um, yeah, so you can get like, you feel like you're in the car. So like when you wear headphones, the videos are gonna sound a lot better. And that package is and Oh, what's in here? Okay, so it's two SD cards. I think one of them is for the recorder. One of them is for that. And then this one, I'm trying to figure out what this is for. I feel like this is for an another microphone. No, what is this for? I'll figure this out later. Micro SD card from Micro, uh, Micro Center, and these are super cheap. I don't know why. All the Micro Center SD card, uh, Micro SD cards are super cheap, and you can kind of trust it because it's a uh, actual <laughs> text or like Best Buy that's like practically everywhere now. We're getting one in Miami pretty soon, so I'll be checking that out when that comes out. That box felt a lot deeper than I was hoping originally. And there's this unlabeled card. Actually, what does it say? Acrylic film? Oh, clapboard, okay. So this, this is a our clapboard. I think that's what it's called. And it comes with a bunch of markers and a eraser. And I like how they just like pulled out the side to put it in. So I'm kind of questioning the quality of this one. It was only a few dollars. Um, but yeah, this is a clapboard. So basically um, when you're recording footage, um, you typically record with a much higher quality microphone and then your video camera. They're usually two separate things, unlike a smartphone, we record both at the same time. Um, so this allows you to clap it so you get a visual uh, that you hit the... You Let me actually just take that really quick. So you get a visual of like, like in the video that it clicked or clapped and then you get like the audio from your separate microphone you can see like the big jump in the in the audio wavelength that you know you hit it so you can sync the audio together that's literally what it is obviously if you're just recording with smartphones you don't really need this but we're gonna be recording much higher quality stuff everything is falling right now <laughs> what is this called um instead of recording using like a really big uh mixer for an xlr or whatever this allows you to do that on the go and also like wherever you can record whatever this is the zoom pod track p4 um one of my friends picked it out who's gonna be our social media manager jojo joseph and then we have the razor siren mini uh we're gonna be getting a few of these the reason we got this is because um, a few of our channels require voiceovers, so we're gonna have like a documentary, like YouTube essay type of channel, and it needs voiceovers. And um, the majority of us don't actually have microphones; it's just me and like one or two others who actually have. Actually, out of me and my friends, who has only like one or two of us has an actual microphone, which I have a AT twenty twenty USB plus for Audio Technica, uh, the USB version, the not XLR version. Anyways, I got one of these for my girlfriend and they sound fantastic. And it's only 40 bucks right now on Amazon, at least in the US. It sounds so good. It's super cheap. So I'm probably gonna be getting a lot of these. But right now we only got one. Um, I'm probably gonna be ordering a few more here pretty soon. Oh, this is a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Okay, so these are our uh, headset or binaural mi microphones that go with the, uh, the, the recorder. Um, these are from Roland. They are the, I, I guess they're just called the Roland, they're called the Roland CS10 EMs, binaural microphones. So you put one on the left ear, one on the right ear, and you connect it up to this. 
I'm still trying to figure out why we need another SD card. I don't see the, the reason why. And there's a very undescript box over here. Oh, this is the GoPro. Oh, why is it in this type of box? This is the GoPro Hero 9. Oh. I thought it was gonna come in a super nice box. Whoa, this is tiny. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this to the side because I wanted to unbox everything one by one, but uh yeah, this is the GoPro Hero 9 box. It came in a nondescript box. I thought I brought it brand new. I thought this was supposed to come in like a proper box, I guess not, but I thought I brought it brand new. And then our last things that we got are two of the DJI om 4 SEs. These are um, foam gimbals. So basically you can put your phone in it and then like it'll smooth it out when you move it around and you can use it to like control and stuff. That looks super cool. Anyways, we have two of those in here. These are super nice. Um, see, this is the type of box I expected for the GoPro. What is that? Why is it a nondescript box? And that is the last of the boxes. All right, what are we gonna open first? Um, Hmm, I guess we could do the GoPro because that's the that's what I'm gonna be recording later today. I need to get a hat really quickly though for it. Okay, so I got the hat. Um I literally just bought this, it's an RV this hat. It's like a suede type of material. I don't know, it's super nice though. Um let me put that to the side. So we're gonna unbox the GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition. So got that right there. We're gonna take out the tray that it's in, which is kind of like loosely put together. We have the GoPro Hero 9 over here. This is not the latest one. The latest one has the 11, but it's like $200 more. I think it's like $500. This is only $290 or maybe a little cheaper. And the video quality is pretty similar. Um, I know there is a difference, but it's not that important. Anyways, here's the, the GoPro. It's currently wrapped in paper and it's in plastic, so there's a camera. I think that lets you like see what's going on. And some controls, and there's like the other side. Then what is this? Oh, this is the battery for it. It has GoPro branding on it. That's so cute. Um This is a USB-C charging cable for it. This is a mount for it. Oh, this is a mounting kit. I don't know how, I think this just slides on, but it's adhesive, it's 3M, so I wouldn't be using that on anything. So I don't want to put 3M anywhere on the car, so. Um, it's just legal paperwork. Oh, it's just telling me to put in an SD card, connect everything. I have to download the GoPro app, okay. Oh, you have to put like a lot of pressure, okay. Micro SD card which fell over here. That's the micro SD card. We're just gonna rip it open, unless it doesn't rip open. Does it just open like that? Oh, it does, okay. So we're gonna open it like that, it just falls out. And then there's the micro SD card. And then we're just gonna open it. And then the micro SD card's gonna go into the side of the GoPro on like the right side. So we're just gonna take out the SD card. Ooh, it just fell out kind of. And it's 256 gigabytes, so I think we're gonna be more than fine enough. In the battery, which is over here, a little plastic wrap. Okay. And the battery just goes in there on the side. I'm gonna close it. Oh, it turned on! It turned on, it's on. And look, it has a cool little animation. And it says GoPro. Well, it's so cool. Oh, it's asking me the, the language. It's like a whole setup process. By using this GoPro, you agree to legal stuff. Okay. Oh, you can put GPS tracking on it. Okay, that's cool. I'm getting so excited. Okay, so I did down the right app. It's called the QUIK app. So I have to open that now. And then let's let's go open that. So this is the app. And then I have to make an account. All right, so I was just finished setting up my account and now it's asking me if I own a GoPro. So I'm gonna hit yes. And it's asking me if I wanna set up my GoPro now, which I will also hit yes. 
Oh, so it's, it connects by Bluetooth. I don't know what else it'll connect by, but... I think I just leave it. Oh, it, it caught it instantly. That is so sick. Okay, connect camera. It's pairing. Well, awesome. And the video quality is not that bad. Ooh, I do not like how that looks right now. Okay, go for it. Oh, so you can actually subscribe to a subscription and it'll automatically upload everything and put it on the cloud for you. And it'll even have highlights and stuff. Um, we can maybe get that later on, but that's cool. So, keep that on the side. But that is so sick. Okay, so we, we don't even have to... Oh, that's awesome! And you can see, you can, I didn't even notice the screen on the, the front. It like, you can see yourself. And then I wonder if I can... If you see the screen right now, you can actually press that little thing at the bottom left. And you can make it like super zoomed in, super narrow. And then you can also make it like way wider. So if I press it again, if it ever loads, it's struggling, hold on. <laughs> it might also be the fact that I'm so nervous and I'm not used to recording yet, so. Ooh. There we go. And now it's like super, That's that looks crazy. But yeah, we're going to be using the the wide angle for the channel that this is gonna be on. This is gonna be on the Tasty Rides channel. And then you can see yourselves. Hello. <laughs> that looks so sick. And then from the phone, I can actually do a lot of cool things with it. So let me show you guys that. So on the phone, this is the mobile app for it. We can live stream, we can set up an auto upload. So whenever it connects to Wi-Fi, it'll automatically upload the footage. We can see the media on it. We can see preview, hold on. This is cool. I didn't even know they had this. Hold up. <laughs> this is going to be super handy when setting it up. Oh. It it's, maybe it doesn't work well. <laughs> I can see that. It's, it's taking forever to load. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't get it to load, but we're going to go back to the GoPro. Um, but yeah, we can set up a timer, we can record, take pictures, and we can change like the mode it's in and even turn it off. So the app is really helpful, and you can actually manage multiple GoPros. I don't know how I go back out of the menu. Um, well, I guess you can add additional ones. So we're all gonna have all the GoPros under one account, but this is super sick. But yeah, the long-term goal is, is that we're gonna have, for the Tasty Ride channel, is it gonna be for POV videos? So I'll have them mounted here, and then we'll also have GoPros on like the outside of the car, uh, but we might be using a different uh, brand of cameras for that. So let's really quickly shut this off. It only has 12% battery, so I have to charge it. Oh, and with the SD card I have inside, it has 10 hours worth of recordable footage, so. Thank God I got that. Oh, oh, that's awesome. So when you press the the left button, I thought that was for, that's power and mode. It has a little button on the side that says mode. You press it and so just a photo, time lapse, and then back to video. And I'm guessing when you hold it for power. Oh, and then it shuts off. The next part is gonna be this, which is the H2 Next recorder. So we're just gonna pull it open if it, it opens. There we go. Am I, oh, am I taking it out the right way? Oh, that's the tape papers. There we go. There's the microphone. Let's take it out. And this is the recorder. Ooh. It is made out of plastic, which for some reason I thought it was not, but uh, here is the recorder. Um, you can put a microphone in, microphone out, remote control, volume. Oh, it uses that funny looking USB connector. I did not realize that. That is a big L. There's a record button, power, and then different menu options and stuff. And then at the bottom, you can put in the SD card, so. We're gonna take out, we're gonna put in the SD card. Where did I put that? It fell somewhere. So here's one of the SD cards, which, how am I meant to open this? Oh, I can also just break it open like that. I don't think Amazon's gonna accept a return now <laughs> that I opened it up. <laughs> Anyways, we have a 128 gigabyte SD card. We're gonna put that in there. So the SD card is in and then we have, it does slide open, okay. Ah, it runs on double A's. 
I did not think that, but uh, looks like we're gonna have to get some rechargeable double A's. I do have double A's around the house, but we're gonna grab those in a little bit. All right, so here are the rolling earbuds. Oh, and it comes with a carrying pouch. That's so cute. Uh, I need to take this all out. What is that? Oh, that's very interesting. I've never seen that before. Be I forget that these are the microphones, but um, it has little little covers uh, for the actual earbuds so that the audio doesn't get messed up. That is a very long pair of earphones. That is insane. The mount for the GoPro. Let's make sure that it actually fits. So I'm just gonna use the, the nuts for this one. There we go. Easily opens. Ooh. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, it's not a regular mount. These little clips at the bottom, you just pull them out like that. And then they just go in like this. Okay, that makes so much more sense. And then, this looks so funny. <laughs> but you'd have to angle it. So the, the brim has to be a little higher. So let me really quickly adjust it. And then I would have the, <laughs> this looks so funny. I would have the, the left microphone in my left ear and then the right one in my right ear. And then I would just start recording. And then this obviously I need to get some batteries for and I already have the SD card in, but I would just record it at the beginning. I would like, I would clap just to like get the audio so I can sync it with the video. And then we can do like a Ted Word style video. So, <laughs> welcome to the Tasty Rides channel. In today's video, we're driving the 2018 Honda CRV with a 1.5 liter turbo, your favorite everyday SUV. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I feel, I feel so cool. <laughs> Let's continue with the, the whole audio journey. This is the Razer Siren Mini. Um, I'll try to record some audio of me just speaking through it. Uh, but yeah, this is, it sounds fantastic. Like when my girlfriend put it, like used it, I was like, wow, I might as well get myself one. I right now have an AT2020 USB plus, but yeah. So this is the box opening experience. We have a little pamphlet at the top with the signature from the CEO, Min Ling, Ling, Ling Ten. Um, yeah, cool little, little package right there. We have the cable for the microphone. Oh, that's so gross. It doesn't even use USB-C, it uses micro USB. Disgusting. And then over here is the stand for it. So we're just gonna, ooh. Actually like some nice feeling packaging quality. It has a nice little bottom that is like give it softening and like keeps it from sliding. You know, obviously don't throw away anything inside, keep it for, if you ever have to return it or want to sell it. And then here's the microphone. It is small, holy cow. Like this is really small. I don't think I've ever seen this microphone in real life. My partner doesn't live with me, so <laughs> she's moving in next year, but she lives across the country. And uh, how do I do, does this come with the, uh... Oh, there it is! Oh, like, does it come with a thread or something? Because there's no way it just screws in like that. And then here's a thread or the stand. It's like a piece of plastic, which I kind of don't trust, but it's like the only option to use this microphone. I hope this becomes a dying trend. I hate how you need to use adapters and threads and stuff and like sometimes it gets stuck in the microphone because that's happened to me a few times, but I feel like the easiest way to do this would be like to hold it upside down and screw it in because I don't want to drop the microphone. Just screw it in like that. Okay, now we have the microphone, which, you know, it looks fantastic. I thought I bent it in already, but yeah, here's have the microphone, you angle it, uh, obviously you talk to the front of it. Um, none of these microphones are actually talking to the top. I know it's a thing that a lot of people do as a mistake, but it does not work like that. But yeah, there's gonna be like five or six of these. Uh, they're only 40 bucks, which, you know, at scale of trying to build like a dozen YouTube channels, um, along with a bunch of social media is really good. The cables are grooved and stuff. I don't know if you can see that on video too well, but ooh, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Obviously this isn't an actual camera recording with a smartphone, but oh, that's awesome. I didn't even notice that. So that's where the, the cable goes in and then there's the cable. So when you put it in, it's all flush. So if I can just get it in. 
Oh, that's awesome. That looks great. So it's all flush. So we have this, which we won't be able to test at all until Friday. Today's currently Tuesday. The microphones we got for this, we wanted to get the Rode Pod mics, but they're so they're like a hundred a piece, uh, and they don't come with stands uh, or pop filters or whatever. Um, and the microphones we got, they all come with all of that. They're like four mics for two hundred, and they sound pretty okay for a starter podcast setup. Anyways, they have a bunch of pamphlets and stuff that are kind of hard to get out. That's a lot of pamphlets, there's four. Okay, one of them is just a legal notice. Oh, there's five, I lied. There's six. There's seven. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cable. Here is the, um, I guess, portable mixer. The portable mixer and recorder. Um, ooh. I thought this was metal. <laughs> But yeah, uh, there's the XLR inputs, so you can put up to four microphones. Um, you can obviously listen back with four headphones. There's a, I don't know what a B2A2 port is. They look like headphone ports, but I'm assuming it's for, uh, apparently it's for connected to your phone. I see a phone icon, I'm not sure. There's the power button on this side. We have the port for the SD card, so I'll put that in right now. Um, a DC five volt for, I guess, just powering it on, like, locally without the batteries and then you can plug it in I guess to read off of the card so that's really good you have like the little knobs to adjust the volume oh no this is for this is for adjusting hearing back uh obviously you have different buttons for I think sounds and stuff or muting, muting everything we have a menu button we have a play button play pause button stop button recording uh we can we can mute each of the channels, each of the audios, and uh, yeah, that's really cool. And then you can adjust the volume of each of the microphones individually. And then back here, you can put in the batteries, which are just double A's. We're gonna be using a charger with double A's uh, because apparently a lot of our equipment's gonna require that. But you can just have it plugged in 24 seven and uh, use the batteries as like a backup in case anything happens, uh, which honestly, that is pretty awesome. Lightly open that. We're going to take off the plastic film. This I'm very excited for uh, because this will allow us to use our iPhones as proper um, cameras and stuff and uh, other devices as well. But oh my gosh, this is the first box we've opened. L like, 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 look at that. That looks so nice. Create magnetic moments. This is like a paper kit, I don't think there's anything in there. But look at that, we get the... Ooh. I, I might, I, we, I've had one of these, not for myself, but someone else. What's this? Oh, is this just a replacement in case this plastic gets messed up? I do think you can't use these with a case on. I'm not sure because it's like, you have to put this on your phone, but I'll try it out in a second. And then it also comes with a tripod and a cable to a USB-C cable, but I'll probably get like little bags for each of these to keep everything together, but yeah, let's, uh, I think you have to download the DJI app. <laughs> so it's going to be this app on the app store. It's free. I was, I'm pretty sure you just click it in. There we go. Okay. I forgot how to do this, but there's a way. Yep, so you press the mode button to swap it from vertical to landscape. And then you double press the, the back button to set up the stabilization. This is so cool. And then you have a little joystick here to adjust it going up, going down, left, right. And then you can also use this um, stabilization, the uh, tripod. So you can like put it like this. What's up guys? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god, okay. Um, I think I covered everything. I almost forgot about this completely. Um, so yeah, the only other thing we have is the clapper board, which I explained at the beginning. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will
catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. This isn't how you end a recording. What am I even doing? <laughs>